Have you ever seen such creatures? Raz has not. Probably neither have you. You are a newcomer, yes? New to this island of high elves? This one has an eye for such things. And you look capable. So can Raz interest you in some cloak and dagger work? Ominous? No, nothing of this sort. Well, maybe a little of the sort. Depends on how things develop. Raz has come to Somerset at the behest of Queen Irene to make sure her decree regarding the opening of the island proceeds as she directed. Ask some questions, determine the mood in Shimmerin, and see how the newcomers are faring. Rumors have reached the Queen, and she is concerned. So Razumdar comes to see what is happening and fights strange creatures. Now Raz is concerned as well. While you ask questions around the city, Raz can take care of some other business. It may or may not involve scratching and clawing. Let's meet near the entrance to Shimarin when you have something to report. Raz never saw such monsters in his life. They appear related to water, but this one tends to avoid this stuff. That pearl, though. Raz swears it was calling those creatures. A mystery for another time, perhaps. Now, we need to see to the newcomers. As a matter of fact, Raz made a list. All Newell, a high elf artisan, spoke out. See what she complained about. Then there's Soxolza, a persecuted Argonian newcomer. Finally, Ranul a city resident noted in the Divine Prosecution's observation log. All Newell complained about it. No, no. Raz doesn't want to prejudice your investigation. You will find out when you talk to her. The artists like to gather shells along the eastern coast. She uses them to make paints and dyes. True. Not enough syllables. Ranul's a red guard, whose family has lived in Shimarin for generations. He's a well-respected trader, with a few warehouses along the docks. Talk to him, before the Divine Prosecution decides to arrest him. The Divine Prosecution serves as law keepers and protectors of social standards. Very persnickety. When rules are broken, they record it in their observation logs. If your name winds up on their list, things get complicated. Something to do with monks and newcomer registration. Roz is looking into that. Last I heard, Soxolza was seen leaving the city and heading west. Probably trying to reach the water. Lizards like water, yes? Not Roz. Gugh. Roz hates the wet stuff. Nothing at all. Unless you think they came to Somerset because of the Queen's decree. No, that would be ridiculous. Let's not lose focus. Just see what Old Newell, Soxolza, and Ranul have to say about newcomers and the mood in Shimarin. We need to confirm these rumors or else put an end to them. Everyone should be pleased with the Queen's decree. Opening the border shows progress, yes? However, if any of her loyal subjects reject progress, well, Raz needs to know that, too. While you ask questions around the city, Raz can take care of some other business. It may or may not involve... Find your own patch of beach. Not that you'd understand the concept, but the path to Alaxon requires dedication and complete concentration. I must find the perfect shells or my pigments will be substandard. And do you know what that will do to my art? Exactly. An ultimate concept practiced widely here in Somerset. Alexon is the state of perfection that every high elf strives for. 
the path to Alexong represents the approach we take to achieve that state. Now, why have you interrupted my work? I believe in caution as much as the next High Elf, but sometimes the rules get in the way of common sense. My apprentice lived here for more than a year. Good help is so hard to find, especially among the newcomers. And she was adept at making dyes. They took her away. Said they had to scrutinize her qualifications, test her knowledge of culture and etiquette. But I haven't seen her since. My work suffers, so of course I complained to the monks. Now I have to gather my own shells. They told me I could fill out some forms and appeal to the kin lady. But who has time for such bureaucracy? And for a wood elf? I've said too much. I have work to do, and all this aggravation has diverted my path to Alaxon. Perfection requires constant vigilance, so back to it.
newcomer in the warehouse district. Unusual, but how can I help you today, my friend? The Divine? Who told you that? If a Justicier sent you to try and trick me into confessing... No, no. The High Elves would never send a newcomer to perform such a task. But I admit it. I made my thoughts known. I arranged to bring my cousin here to work with me. The ship arrived, but all the newcomers were carted away. For questioning, they said. I complained to the kin lady and anyone else who would listen. And what has it gotten me? Nothing! Oh, my family has been here for generations and generations. Before the Queen's decree, outsiders might have been rare, but we were not unheard of. Our business has grown and gets better every day. That's why I sent for my cousin. We need the help. Somerset is a rare and beautiful jewel in the Abitian Sea. I love it here. The High Elves treat us like children, but they have never been hostile. The Queen's decree has stirred the waters, though. I fear it will get worse before it gets better. This is unheard of! Why have you closed the monastery? Good people, I hear your concerns. But the workers I hired, they were aboard the ship from Rivenspire. The kin lady and I, we have only your best interests in mind. Every guest must be sequestered while we ascertain their suitability for Altmer society. Such anger. Raz never expected to hear such words from the Queen's loyal subjects. The sentiment isn't universal, but enough feel this way for Raz to be concerned. Did you learn anything interesting from the people I sent you to talk to? Sequestered, hmm. Just a different word for imprisoned, yes. Ranul's cousin just arrived, but Old Newell's assistant has lived on Somerset since long before the Queen ever issued her decree. What about the lizard? What did Sok Solza have to say? <sighs> Why would the Aldar gather up newcomers and non-High Elf residents alike and send them to the monastery? Does the King Lady condone this behavior? Raz's head itches, and not in a good way. Our course is clear, Five Claw. We must go to the monastery. Raz admires your enthusiasm, but this one needs you to enter the monastery on your own. Raz has other fish to catch. This one will help you get past the sentry, though. When you notice that the sentry is distracted, just sleep quietly inside. What do you want?
to sound about an overgrown You there! I have a... Damn it! Why won't this work? Did you see a golden knight? I have no idea what that was, and I'm not sure I want to know. Sentry! Raz owes you for that game of cards, and has come to pay. Well, I don't recall any... Uh, you say I won some gold? Don't you remember? Raz always pays his debts. No, oh, not now, please. Your spiritual well-being can wait until after my nap. You'll have to ask one of the monks that the new Aldark brought with him. They deal with all the newcomer testing and evaluations. I'm just a simple monk trying to catch up on my sleep. That was a hint, by the way. Aldark Tilkala arrived right after the Queen issued her decree. He came highly recommended by King Lady Avanis, or so I heard. It's not unusual for monks to form attachments and move together, but there's something strange about that bunch. The Old Ark and his monks keep to themselves. They've taken the Undercroft for their own purposes and ordered the rest of us to avoid the ancient vaults beneath the monastery. Now, please. Let me get back to my nap. Again with the questions about the newcomers. Why do you care about the complexities of Altma bureaucracy? Still, if I had to make a guess, I'd say they were taking into the Undercroft for registration and processing. Now go away. The monastery should be a place of peace and meditation. The Aldoch has closed us down until further notice. That means if any of the monks spot you, they'll raise the alarm. Me? I never saw you. Now, if you don't mind, my nap awaits. This isn't the town square. Move along!
You have no right to be in here. Why are you here? Unusual knickknack for an all docks office, wouldn't you agree? I noticed you skulking around while I was engaged in some skulking of my own. I suppose we both came to the monastery with a similar purpose in mind. The sequestered newcomers. I came to find out what happened to a friend. I assume that's what brought you here as well? A house of worship shouldn't be used as an internment camp, and it shouldn't be locked to the public either. Interesting. I've never seen anything quite like it. I find it intriguing and a bit disturbing. But we aren't here to discuss curios, strange creatures notwithstanding. We need to find out what's happening with the missing newcomers. The sentry doesn't appear to have stopped you, so I could ask you the same question. Let's just agree that we both have our methods. Curious, but I feel that there's more going on in Shimmerine than the usual politics and community relations. That's the question, my cautious friend. We have a newly appointed Aldark and a disgruntled kin lady, both opposed to the Queen's decree. What's their connection to the missing newcomers? I was about to explore the Undercroft. Care to join me? A curious pearl. I wonder where the Aldark acquired it. Probably not important. I'll meet you in the Undercroft, and we can see what's going on with the newcomers. Why are you here? Something's wrong down here. I sense magic. Vile magic. Cages? These people did nothing to deserve such treatment. There's someone alive over there. See if you can help her. Thank the Divines! You aren't one of the monks. Please, let me out of here. It's a nightmare. We came to Somerset to seek new opportunities. We barely stepped off the ship when they marched us to the monastery. Instead of questioning us or the usual high elf bureaucracy, they locked us in these cages. The monks gathered them a few moments ago and took them through the door on the far side of the chamber. Please, let me out of here before they take me away like the others.
Is that a scoffin? Oh, thank you for setting me free. Daedra? Here? And that's a scoffin, if I remember my Daedric recitations correctly. Very curious. An excellent question, and one I hope to find the answer to. From the evidence before us, it appears this Nord killed the scoffin before he succumbed to his own wounds. Good for him. I found this key on the creature's belt, so we can open that door. Then I suggest we pick up the pace. We need to determine what's actually happening down here, and who's behind all this. Without answers to those questions, we won't be able to decide on our best course of action. I'll explain everything later. For now, we need to hurry. Unfortunately, the magic only affects those who have been prepared. But never fear. Your turn will come. while I complete my spell. Let's talk outside. Oh, those poor people. This wasn't just about newcomers and opposing the Queen's decree. That was Daedric magic back there. I just wish we had arrived a few moments earlier. I promise to explain what I know. I suppose that now's as good a time as any. I'm a member of the Sigic Order. Our Rite Master sent me to investigate a warning we received about a plot involving Somerset. My inquiries led me here. The Sigic Order is an ancient magical monastic society. We served as advisors to the rulers of Tamriel. But that was before we removed our island home from the world. Now this threat has drawn us back. But why are you involved in all of this? An Eye of the Queen? Interesting. I diffused the Daedric magic and transported the Pearl to Arteum, the Sigic Island for safekeeping and study, so we can learn more about it. But we can discuss this further once we get out of here.
Living on Arteum for a few centuries doesn't prepare you for physical activity. Let the Eye of the Queen know what we discovered, and I'll catch up with you later. This one's new partner returns. What interesting scandal did you uncover in the monastery? Tell Raz every juicy detail. That isn't the kind of scandal Raz was hoping for. Murder, Daedric rituals, and traitorous behavior have a way of ruining an otherwise perfect day. We need to learn the extent of the Kin Lady's involvement. And by we, Raz means you. Accuse? Not exactly. Raz wants you to talk to her, see what she knows about the old art. The Kin Lady is meeting with local leaders. Attend that meeting and learn the truth. This invitation and set of elegant clothes will get you through the door. A Sijik? Raz has heard rumors, but there are always rumors about the Sijiks. For an island of sages who disappeared more than 300 years ago, they certainly seem to get around. Did this Sijic mage say what the Order was investigating? There was a life-sucking pearl. You should probably have led with that bit of information. Well, we can worry about the Sijic mage and figure out where these pearls came from later. For now, go see what the Kin Lady has to say. Kin Lady Avenis and Raz do not get along. You see, there was a horse, a platter of pudding tarts, and... Uh, no, no, no. This one won't bore you with the sordid details. Besides, everyone behaves well when they see Raz. You will learn more than I would. Yes? And who might you be? The Kin Lady is currently engaged. She's holding a conference with Shimmerin's elite to discuss certain political matters. Hmm. Yes. So you do. And may I say that your outfit is suitably elegant. Uh, please, head into the garden. We all have concerns regarding the Queen's decree. I assure you that I am working with all Dark Tikala to safeguard the sanctity of Shimmerine and all of Somerset. Enjoy the food and drink. Business of the city requires my attention, but I shall rejoin you shortly. How bold of you. The Nibirad dares to stand in my holy presence. Very well, bold Nibirad. What can the new Aldark of Shimmerine do for you? And please, try not to bore me or spray any spittle on my spotless vestments. You heard that somewhere, did you? 
I'll have to have a discussion with the Divine Prosecution about how lax our security has become. No, no, I jest. The Kin Lady and I have nothing but the best interests of Somerset and the newcomers in mind. You really are well informed about things here in Shimmerin, aren't you? For a Nebera. You're right, where are my manners? Using a word you couldn't possibly be expected to understand. It means unwelcome. As in, you are not welcome here. That's a serious accusation to toss around so casually. What did you say your name was again? I want to make sure to add it to the Divine Prosecution's observation log. For your own protection, you understand. I suddenly remembered some business I need to deal with as well. Feel free to pester the other guests in my absence. Another newcomer. Ink has barely dried on the Queen's decree, and there are already more of you than I can count. I look forward to hearing how the Kin Lady and New Aldark plan to protect Somerset's interests. Does it? Perhaps. The newcomers are different. They understand neither Altmer society nor the rules of protocol and etiquette. Makes my job as an officer of the Divine Prosecution more difficult. I just hope the new Aldark really has a plan. The Divine Prosecution serves as Somerset's premier law keepers. We enforce secular and religious law, making sure that all social and cultural rules are adhered to. The fact that you didn't know that proves the Aldark's concerns are justified. Well don't really know the new Aldark all that. Wait a moment. I don't know who you are, and I'm not sure I like the tenor of your questions. Perhaps you should move along before I forget this is a social gathering and that I'm not on duty? dare you barge into my home without so much as a bite? No, I refuse to deal with one of the Queen's guests, especially not in my own home. How did you get in here, by the way? No, never mind that. Since you found your way in, I assume you can find your way back out, before I call the guards. Oh, <laughs> such innocence. You really want to know why I oppose the Queen's order to allow newcomers to enter Somerset? Because I'm trying to protect both the island and the newcomers. It's in everyone's best interest that we maintain a separation. Aldark Tilkala came highly recommended. He has grand plans for protecting Shimmerine. Grand plans. Unfortunately, in my haste to deal with the Queen's decree, I may have made an error in judgment. Not that it's any concern of yours. But my Chancellor has been unable to verify the Aldark's existence prior to when we met. And I recommended him for the position at the monastery. I assure you, Kinlord Millenthal praised Tilkala to no end. That's preposterous! Aldark Tilkala sequesters the newcomers to ascertain their suitability for life in Somerset. Those who pass will find a place here. As for the rest, will be returned to wherever they came from. That's what we agreed to. My lady, one of the monks said to deliver this message. It's from the Aldark himself. The Coral Forest. An odd location for a meeting, but I need to hear the Aldark's explanation.
Pretend you are adjusting your boot, or admiring the architecture. As hard as it may be, look anywhere but directly at Raz. Good, good. Now, tell Raz what you learned at the King Lady's Manor. Hmm. Raz thinks Avanis is as naive as she is complicit, but she is not a murderer. This new Aldark, though, has so much blood on his hands, it looks like he's wearing red gloves. From what I could discover, he didn't exist before he came to Shimarin. The Coral Forest? Hmm. A strange meeting place. Raz thinks we should go and see what the old Ark is up to. After I take back that outfit, I might need it again later. Ah, you have a pretty admirer, my friend. The Sijic Sage, yes? Here she comes now. I'm glad I found you. While watching the King Lady's mansion, I saw her ladyship sneak out the back and leave the city. The King Lady is meeting the Old Dark in the Coral Forest. Raz smells something, and it isn't moon sugar biscuits. Your reputation precedes you, Eye of the Queen. I am Valserin of the Sijic Order, and I agree that the Aldark is more than a simple monk. We should work together, yes. But let's travel separately, to avoid attracting unwanted attention. Raz will find you both at the Coral Forest. One of Somerset's more unique environments, the Coral Forest. I used to love coming here when I was growing up. We need to find out why the Aldark asked King Lady Avenise to meet him out here. Based on what we saw in the monastery's undercroft, I'm hesitant to use magic to locate them. I suppose we'll have to find them through mundane means. Too bad the Queen's spy isn't here yet. I understand he's good at this sort of thing. Old Ark. 
You know nothing of the plan, you fool. Let me give you a taste of what the Prince of Bargains has in store for this pitiful world. Your Prince! I want no part of danger! Help! Let me show you the power the bestowed upon me by the Prince of Bargain. Yagra, destroy these fools! Rasmdar apprehended the Kin Lady. They're at the west edge of the Coral Forest. What happened to Aldok Tilkalar? Did he escape? I think we can conclude that Tilkalar wasn't actually an Aldok. At least, not with his connection to the Prince of Bargain's Clavicus Vile. Strange magic and creatures worry me, however. Hopefully the pearl I sent to Arteum can tell us more. You'd be surprised what a particular object can reveal if you know how to unlock its secrets. I need to return and tell Rightmaster Ikesis all that transpired here. If you're willing, I'd like you to come to Arteum and confirm my story. The Rightmaster leads the Sigic Order from Kapora Tower on the island of Arteum. This spell attunes you to a portal near Shimmerine in the ruins of the Keep of Eleven Forces. It always leads to Arteum, no matter the island's current location. One more adjustment and there, you are now attuned. Find me on Arteum after you finish with the Eye of the Queen. Queen Iren will be disappointed that the Kin Lady of Shimmerin allowed a false Aldar to murder so many newcomers. Queen Iren will be disappointed that the Kin Lady of Shimmerin allowed a false Aldar to murder so many newcomers. Such a scandal makes other travelers uneasy about coming here, yes? The Prince of Bargains? That could only be Clavicus Vile. What oblivion-inspired nest of vipers has Raz stumbled into? This one has a very bad feeling about all of this. Where is the Sijic Sage? Raz would like to ask her what she thinks. The Sijic Order's interest in all of this concerns Raz Umdar. This one has never had much love of magic or those that practice the art. On the other hand, now Raz has his own person on the inside. An Eye of Raz, if you will, yes? Then you must go to Arteum and discover what the Sijiks have learned. When you return, you can tell Raz all about it so he can pass it along to the Queen. Yes, 
Raz likes this plan. In the meantime, Raz will investigate the Daedric connection. Have you come to gloat? To kick me while I wallow in my own misery? Well, go ahead. I deserve it. I met him at Kinlord Millenthal's party in Eleanor. We had similar ideas about the Queen's decree, and I recommended that he lead the monastery. Somerset isn't a stew pot, and the various races aren't ingredients to be sprinkled in like so much spice. What a hateful accusation! Tilkala told me he was going to send them back where they came from. I had no idea he planned to kill them. I give you my word, I just wanted the newcomers to go away. And to find out he worshipped Daedra? How crude. I certainly hope not. We'll have to get the Divine Prosecution in there to gather up the monks Tilkala brought with him to Shimmerin. We can't have Daedric cultists desecrating a holy site. I suppose I need to beg for mercy from the Proxy Queen.
And there was no sign of Lathan. I don't know whether to be grateful or concerned. We'll find him, Val. Now go check on the Pearl while I speak to our new guest. What a rare honor Valserin bestowed upon you. Only a select few not of our order have ever walked upon this sacred island. Val tells me your aid was indispensable in uncovering the false Aldark's plot on Somerset. Unfortunate, certainly. The magic you describe sounds familiar, though I can't quite recall where I've heard of it before. I fear the pearls may be a harbinger of the threat Sotha Seal warned us about. Sotha Seal, one of the living gods of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He's an honorary member of our order. After an attack on his clockwork city, he warned us about a Daedric threat to Somerset and Arteum. I sent Valserin to investigate. Indeed. But not until we finish studying the pearl Valserin brought us. There are mysteries to unravel, and Val believes you will be instrumental to our success. We can get started immediately. Unless you want to explore our island first. The next step involves a thorough examination of the strange pearl you and Valserin recovered from beneath the Shimmerine Monastery. Hopefully, we can learn more about the false Aldark and the source of the pearl's magic. We are the Sigic Order, friend of Valserin. There is very little we cannot accomplish through the application of the old ways. Every object remembers its history. The trick involves selecting the correct ritual to reveal those buried memories. While I head inside to begin the augury ritual, I'd like you to go to Sotha Seal's study in the tower, find my acolyte, Oriandra, and ask her for Sotha Seal's amplification elixir. We may need it if the pearl proves to be resistant to our magic. <laughs> 